Hey there, friends. I have a few books for you today. The first one is called Pair of Hope. It's by Wenda Surety and Deb Hudson. At the bottom of the garden grew an old pear tree, a home of buzzing and budding, scuttlers and flutterers and tweets and squeaks. It was Anna's secret hideout, a climbing frame of adventures, a giver of rough and crinkled hugs, a promise of hoops and whispers. The wonder disappeared when the clouds rolled in. It's very cloudy. Rain fell, lightning cracked and pierced the sky. Heavy fog smothered the garden. Something was missing, like a night without stars, a smile without laughter, and a tree bare standing against the cold. Then one day, Soft, delicate arms returned for hugs. She looks a little different in that picture. When the sun appeared, friends read together, paused to listen to the buzz of pollen-laden bees or the pitter-patter of pat petals on pages. When clouds crept across the sky, Anna dozed on a grassy bed under the branches, a canopy of comfort with leaves that bore her fears to the breeze. When the branches bowed with fruit, Anna's spirit lifted. She picked the largest pear, so smooth and so round. Crunch, juicy and sweet. A seed, she pressed it into the soft soil. Sprinkle, sprinkle, day after day. A green shoot, a tuft of hair. A curl, a seedling. A sapling, a bob. A tree, a ponytail. A new pair, hope. Symbolism of the pear. In many parts of the world, the pear symbolizes the human heart because of its shape. The ancient Chinese believed the pear was a symbol of immortality and that the pear tree symbolized long life and good fortune. Similarly, in Christianity, the pear tree is said to symbolize the promise of eternal life. In Korea, the pear tree is a symbol of comfort and is said to give wisdom and health. The next story I wanted to read with you is Arlo, the Lion Who Couldn't Sleep. This is by Katherine Rayner. Arlo was a very tired lion. He had tried everything, but he could not get to sleep. The grass was too prickly and the earth was too hard. 
The trees were too noisy, but the desert was too quiet. The sun was too hot, but the night was too cold. His family was warm, but they wriggled too much. Everybody knows that lions need a lot of sleep, and Arlo was exhausted. Will I ever sleep again? Arlo sighed. But Arlo wasn't the only one who was awake. Of course you will, said a voice from above. I sleep through the day when it's bright, noisy, and hot. Shall I tell you how? And the owl began to sing. Think about the places where you'd like to be, the things you'd like to do there and what you might see. Relax your whole body, slow your breathing right down. Imagine you're sinking into the soft ground. As you fall into calmness, so comfortable and deep, your mind will rest and you'll drift off to sleep. Arlo stretched, wriggled, and tried to relax while Owl sang her song once more. Arlo thought of the places he would like to go and see. He imagined bounding up mountains, wading in rivers, and climbing enormous trees. Then Arlo imagined he might need a rest, so he pictured himself cuddled up with his cozy, snoring family. And before he knew it, he was sleeping too. Arlo woke up feeling the sun on his coat. He'd been asleep for hours and felt happy, fresh, and full of energy. He couldn't wait to tell Owl. Little Owl, roared Arlo. I slept, hooray! <clears throat> well done, came a tired voice from above. But now you've woken me up. I'm sorry, said Arlo. Shall I sing your song to you? Owl nodded her tired head and Arlo began to sing. And while he sang, Owl thought of the places she would like to go and see. She imagined flying over waters, soaring high and fast and gliding through wild forests. Before she knew it, Owl felt starlight on her feathers. She had slept through the day and felt wonderful and rested. Hooray! Owl and Arlo cheered. We're pleased you've slept, but now you've woken us all up. The grumpy pride grumbled together. Sorry, said Arlo. But we know what to do, hooted Owl, and Arlo and Owl sang together. Think of all the places where you'd like to be, the things you'd like to do there and what you might see. Relax your whole body, slow your breathing right down. Imagine you're sinking into the soft ground. As you fall into calmness so comfortable and deep, your mind will rest and you'll drift off to sleep. And before long, everyone was asleep, including Arlo. Everyone, that is, except Owl. Who spread her wings and flew silently into the long, quiet night. I hope this week that you're getting the rest that you need, that you're finding ways to rest peacefully and to wake up happy and excited just like Arlo did. Rest well, my friends.